Hello, good morning. Welcome to Shushu Studies class. Today we'll be learning about family. 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 It's a nice topic. So I want you to listen attentively. Okay. So what is family? Family is a group of persons united by blood marriage or adoption and we can say family makes up a society so let's uh, talk about the definition if you are asked to define family you have to note that there are key points to note family is a group is a group a group of people okay a group of people what does this mean it means only you cannot make up a family okay you have to uh be with other people to make up a, a family that's why they said group of people or group of persons so you can't make a, a family by yourself so yourself with other people will make a family okay so a family is a group of people related or united when you are united that means you have one voice united okay united or related related by what by blood yes say blood blood so when you are defining family you have to note that you have to put group of people you have to put related by blood when you are related by blood it means you have your siblings you have your brothers your sisters and you are you are from the same parents so that is related by blood okay yourself and your siblings or your sisters or your brothers are from the same parents you are from the same mom, you are from the same dad. That means you are related by blood or you are you can be related by marriage. Marriage, yes, marriage is when you get married to someone else, okay? For example, like myself, I got married a few months ago, so I have another family. I have my husband's family to claim okay so when you live when you are married to someone else you as you it means you are related to that person by marriage though you are too young to get married but later in the future you are going to get married so once you get married it means you and your wife are now uh, you have you have you are now family because you are now group of people okay related by marriage because you are, you are married so you can be mar you can have marriage is a group of people relate united or related by blood remember blood when you are from the same family or marriage when you marry someone and, and it has to be legally yes marriage has to be le uh, legally so marriage or adoption adoption so by by blood by marriage or adoption adoption means when you take care of someone or you take someone's responsibility and but it has to be uh, documented so you go to the government and say oh i love this boy i want this boy to be to live with me so if you like someone maybe when you grow up in the future you have money then you can go to the motherless baby's home and get someone to adopt so when you adopt someone you don't just call the person oh come and stay with me no you have to go through the uh, necessary documentation 
tell uh, people in charge to sign agreement that, oh, you are going to take care of this person. So with those documentation, it means the person is now your family. The person is now your own, own person, your own family. So that is adoption. You, you care for that person. You cater for that person. You take that person as your family. So that is uh, it by the definition of family, a group of people related by blood, related by marriage or by adoption. And also family makes up a society. Yes. You know, um, from your family, I have my own family. You have your family, own family. Mrs. Adegun has her own family. Your friends have their own family. All these families. So let's have this family. This is my own family. This is my own family. This is your own family. Okay. This is another family. This is another family. Another family. So all these people. All this family makes up a society. So without a family, there won't be society. There won't be so, somewhere you call oh, Nigeria. This is Nigeria. What makes up Nigeria? Nigerians. Family makes up a society. So your family, my family, my friend's family, my um, your friend's family, my boss' family, you know, all this family makes up what we call a society so you can say family makes up a society that's why we have it here we say family makes up a society so basically we have two types of family we have the nuclear family and we have the extended family and in the nuclear family they said it consists of the father the mother and their children and it could be small or large while extended family includes aunts, uncles, cousins, nephews, nieces. So let me explain that briefly. So like I said, we have two types of family. We have nuclear family, nuclear family, nuclear family. And uh, we also have extended. So let's talk about nuclear family. Like I said, it consists of the father, okay? It consists of the father. This is father. So in my family, we actually have a nuclear family. So this is father. This is my dad. My dad is so tall. Yes, I have to draw. He's so tall. My dad is so tall. So this is my father. Okay. My father, father, mother, mother this is mother this is my mother so a nuclear family consists of father consists of mother and their children so depending on the kind of uh, on how many children the family the, the family has will determine if it is a small family or a large family in my in my home we actually have a small family of uh, a nuclear family because we have just two children so this is a this is these are the children the two are children so in a nuclear family you have father you have mother and the children and like i said earlier it could be a small or a large family so if you have uh if, if you're in your nuclear family, you have father, mother, and 10 children. Wow, that is a large family because the children are many. They are 10 in number. So the next type of family is the extended family. Is the extended, extended, extended family. So extended family, just like the name implies, it is extended from the nuclear family extended from your father from your mother from your from you and your siblings then it's extended to all other family members of that you know like aunts like uncles like cousins cousins like nephews 
nieces, nieces, and the rest. So extended family is actually the very large because it consists of, apart from your father, your mother, yourself, your sisters, your, it also includes your aunts, your uncles, cousins, nephews, and nieces. So those are your extended family, okay? The, the, those are your extended family. So, so we're going to be talking briefly about the importance of family. Yes, family is important and it is important to have family. It is not good to be alone. It is not good at all to be alone. It is good to have family. So how, uh, how, uh, what, why is it important or what are the importance of family? The first one is that it helps you in financial, moral and communication it gives you financial, moral, and communication support. For example, you are so broke, you don't have money, or you are really craving to have uh, Pringles, okay? So your uncle can also help you to buy Pringles. You can call your uncle, please, can you buy me Pringles? So that's helping you financially. The person can also give you some money. Your daddy can give you some money, you know? Having a family can help you financially. Or maybe you are so down, you need someone to talk to, you, you, you know, or maybe you didn't get the right grade you want to get and you are so sad. So your, your cousins can just come visiting and say, oh, don't worry, you do better next time. So they can give you that morale, that courage, that encouragement that you need. So also they can also help your communication. So sometimes you are so bored, you don't have anyone to talk to. Can you say, mommy, please, can you call my cousins? And they, now you have your cousins, you have someone to talk to. So that is how to help your communication. Um, that, that's how to help you um, build your, or that's how they help you they give you communication support, okay? They also share in your happy moments. For example, imagine you having a birthday, nobody to wish you happy birthday, nobody to talk to you. Maybe you're having your graduation, your mom is not there, your daddy is not there, your cousins are not there, your siblings are not there. So what, what's the celebration about? So when you have family, they, they share in your happy moments, they are glad to ce they celebrate with you. So it's good to have family because it has its own, it has a lot, it has a lot of advantage. Okay. So they share your happy, happy moments, like your, your graduation, your birthdays, you know, so also they also help you to have a place where you belong to. Yes. For example, you are in school. You can't sleep in school. Your school, you have actually come to school to learn. And when it is time to go, where? You go home to meet your family. So it is that is the place you have been accepted. So you feel like, oh, I'm going home. Some of you are always eager to go home. I'm going home. Oh, I want to go home to see my mommy, to see my daddy, to see my siblings. So you are always you always feel this. Uh, spirit of our acceptance, be, uh, belonging. Now I belong to this family. So that's another importance of family. Also, they love each other. Okay. So you um, having a family would make you know that, oh, somebody loves me so dearly. My mommy loves me so dearly. My daddy loves me so dearly. She tells me all this every day. So you feel so loved and you feel so special. Okay. So that is it by family or oh, family, family, family. It is good to have family. It is good to be good to your family because when, when you are good to your family, it will also be good to you. Okay. When you are nice to them, they'll be nice to you and you will never go broke. Okay. When you have good family. Okay. Have a great day. If you have any question, let me have them in the comment box. See you later. Bye.